There are two pretty big announcements by OpenAI and NVIDIA today. In this video, let's quickly cover the OpenAI announcement. They're saying, we're testing ChatGPT's ability to remember things you discuss to make future chats more helpful. This feature is being rolled out to a small portion of free and plus users, and it's easy to turn on or off. I, unfortunately, am not one of those small portion of users, but let's take a look at the announcement. So memory and new controls for ChatGPT. They're saying, we're testing memory with ChatGPT. Remembering the things you discuss across all chats saves you from having to repeat information and makes future conversations more helpful. You're in control of ChatGPT's memory. You can explicitly tell it to remember something, ask it what it remembers, and tell it to forget conversationally or through settings. You can also turn it off entirely. So a few people are already getting it and they have plans to start rolling out to everyone pretty soon. So how it works is as you were chatting back and forth with ChatGPT, you can tell it to remember something specific or let it pick up the details itself. ChatGPT's memory will get better the more you use it, and you're gonna to start to notice improvements over time. For example, let's say you've explained that you prefer to have meeting notes with headlines, bullets, and action items summarized at the bottom. ChatGPT will remember that and recap meanings in this way moving forward. Let's say you've told ChatGPT you own a neighborhood coffee shop. When brainstorming messaging for a social post celebrating a new location, ChatGPT will know where to start. You mentioned that you have a toddler and she loves jellyfish. When you ask ChatGPT to help create her birthday card, it suggests a jellyfish wearing a party hat. And if you're a teacher, it'll remember information about your students when making lesson plans, etc. And of course, your control, you can switch it off anytime in settings, personalization, memory. If you have access to this, you'll have this new tab called personalization. So if you log into ChatGPT, click on your name in the bottom left, settings, and see if you have that personalization tab. And if you wanted to forget something, just tell it. Interestingly, you can view and delete specific memories in that same personalization in Manage Memory. So as you can see here, it looks like ChatGPT is remembering some of the things that you've told it, whether that's through things it selects to, by itself to remember or things you've explicitly told it to remember, and you're able to delete them one at a time. Wouldn't you love to have that with people? It's just like, I no longer want you to remember this thing about me. Nope. And they're saying your memories, like the models will be trained on those to improve the models for everyone. You can turn this off in data controls. And as always, they don't train for, they don't train on content from ChatGPT teams and enterprise customers. So if you're using it for your business, that data doesn't get used for training future models. And they also add a temporary chat, similar to the incognito window for Chrome browsers. So if you don't want it using, using your memories, just use that. Temporary chats won't appear in history, won't use memory, and won't be used to train our models. So custom instructions, you can still use them to provide direct guidance. So for explicit information or instructions, you can add it to your custom instructions. So these memories seem to be more fluid, ongoing thing that you can change quickly, that will be added automatically. And I think this is gonna be a lot easier for people to kind of automatically start customizing their own chat GPT. Like it's gonna start learning from what they want and who they are to improve its abilities. And they're saying there's obviously certain sensitive you know, sensitive information like your health details that it's not going to remember unless you explicitly ask it to. And they're also saying how team and enterprise customers, how this will benefit them, although this is true for everyone. For example, if you have a certain writing tone or voice, this will automatically apply them to, for example, your blog posts. If you're a coder, it will remember certain preferences like your programming languages and frameworks, which should streamline the process. For monthly business reviews, you securely upload your data to ChatGPT and it creates your preferred charts with three takeaways each. This is huge. You know, if you're running a business at the end of every month, if you teach ChatGPT how to, you know, take all your transactions, whether that's your accounting or whatever other metrics, whatever other data you, you look at every single month, just upload it to ChatGPT and it's going to know, it's going to have that skill about what you want done with it. Organize into categories or format that Excel sheet however you want to, put out a few charts with bullet points, etc. This is actually very, very cool. And GPTs will also have memory. So those custom GPTs, if you're building GPTs, they will have their own distinct memory. As a builder, you have the option to enable memory for the GPTs. Now those memories will not be shared with builders. So if you're interacting with a GPT that you found on the store, it will remember things about you, but those things won't be shared with the, the makers of the GPT, the builders. But it sounds like the builders will have to allow it. So they, they will have to turn that on. So for example, the books GPT helps you find your next read with memory enabled. It remembers your preferences, such as your favorite genres or top books and tailors the recommendations to you accordingly. And those memories are not shared between GPTs. So it sounds like your chat GPT, kind of that central 
area where you talk to chat GPT, that's going to have its own memory and each custom GPT that has that option enabled will have its own sort of set of memories. I got to say that's pretty exciting. A lot of these customizations already exist for large companies, whether you're on Amazon or Google, etc. They do have data on you. They have memories about you. Here, it looks like you're going to be able to see what those memories are. You'll be able to control them, add to them, delete from them. So I got to give props to OpenAI for being, well, pretty open. Instead of doing this kind of behind the scenes, you're in control and you're able to adjust as needed. So I got to say, I love this so far. And we also got some big news from NVIDIA and Jensen Huang. That's coming up in just a little bit. Stay tuned. My name is Wes Roth and thank you for watching.